Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Ben Danun, you're watching Israeli News Live. Earlier today, I had a chance to sit down with Sister Esther, our correspondent over in Israel, and we discussed a little bit about the, the situation in Israel as it stands now with the ceasefire, uh, as well as some insights uh, regarding the two witnesses. Uh, I thought I might share a little bit of that with you here, and let's take a look at what our conversation was earlier today. A brief clip, anyway, that is. You know, they still hold to, um, when the shooting went up on the mountain, and he saw uh, the Eliyahu mm -hmm. Elijah, um, and he saw Moses, and they think it'll be, you know, Elijah and Moses. Um, because uh, they had the power to shut the sky and things like that. Right, right. I'm under the impression that we are in the very And a lot of people are looking for certain wars, Brother Steve. And um, I feel very strongly we are past that. I feel very strongly that a lot of the wars that it talks about in the book of uh, Daniel and in Revelations, we are past that. Um, and when it talks about the prince of the north coming down to fight against the prince of the south, okay, a lot of people here feel as though the prince of the north is President Obama, because when it talks about the north, it's talking about the European Union and uh, or the United Nations. And the United Nations, which is um, in the north, you know, is now fighting against um, ISIS, and this is what a lot of people here believe. Um, many people believe that we are at the very end. There is not going to be um, a whole bunch of series of wars, but nothing but catastrophes after that. When, when the blood moons happen, you know, the rabbis here, the Orthodox rabbis said, we're not... The Orthodox rabbis in Jerusalem has told President Netanyahu and um, the authorities in America that whenever NASA, that whenever there is a blood moon, that means it's war for Israel. And whenever there is a solar eclipse, that means war for the nations. Wow. And um, this year, we have... In 2015, we had all of that happen. It hasn't happened like that for probably, uh, you know, since 1948, since Israel became a nation. Amen. You know, uh, we haven't had this happening. And the last time we had four blood moons and a solar eclipse like that, and then we also had the super moons. Um, and so Hashem is clearly trying to get our attention and uh, get everybody to stop. I mean, these blood moons are like a red light. Stop and look at what you're doing, but people aren't doing that. The last time it happened exactly like this was in 1492, when all the Yehudim was kicked out of Spain. And it's just so funny that this year that the Queen says, oh, well, if you're a descendant of those Jews that left Spain in 1492, you can come back. You know, that, that's my that's that my father's here. family. Fourteen ninety two, and that's we we were originally in uh, Morocco. We came to Spain, and because of the Inquisition, uh, my family went to uh -huh. France. That's why our name went from Benun, which is what I legally my name is Benun, to Dinun. Uh -huh. It was just to uh -huh. make it look French versus uh, Hebrew. Uh, so yes, right. very accustomed to that. Uh, yeah. That's that particular time in history. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is these two witnesses, uh, the world, uh, uh, they're not going to um, recognize them because they don't want to. And Satan is not going to let them recognize it. Amen. If Satan lets the world recognize them, okay, that means that they have a chance of changing. And Satan is going to fight hard not to do that. You know, uh, but then, and it's just like Yeshua said, I have come only for the lost sheep of Israel. Yes, he amen, amen. for all of Israel, because he told the Christ and first, you are of your father, which is the, which is the servant. You know, he said, you're not Abraham's seed, because if you're Abraham's seed, you will believe in me, because Abraham talked about me. You know, amen. he's coming again to the lost sheep, the lost sheep of Israel. 
And, wow. and they will uh, uh, receive them this time. But that's why those two thirds um, really be, they're not going to make it. And I'm just so sorry. And when I walk the streets of Israel and I look around, that is what's on my heart and it's heartbreaking. I'm looking around and in my mind I'm asking myself, is this one going to make it? Is that one going to make it? Is this one going to make it in? And I should not have to live like that. And Hashem knows this. At any rate, I trust that the things that you have listened to tonight have been a blessing to you. Um, so much is happening in Israel. Uh, we still we have several other headlines. A tank shell from Syria wounds one in, in the Golan. Uh, you know, mortar rounds and stuff falling over the border on both sides there. Mortar shells continue to pound the Golan Heights. Uh, this is where uh, Sister Esther lives, by the way, is in the Golan Heights. So uh, Yulan and Gantz, uh, we will hit Hamas again if we have to. And it's not a matter if, you're going to. Uh, so you, you cannot help but believe that who is orchestrating the, the battles against our enemies in Israel? Who is calling the shots in the government? Clearly there is a divide. And clearly there are, are Jewish people in the government there that know that what's happening is not right. Easily Israel could have defeated the enemy of Hamas and drove them slap out of the country if they wanted to and establish peace and security amongst any Arabs that wanted to live in peace and security. But that clearly is not uh, what is happening and it is not the desire of the government, the current administration. Uh, and, and I agree that no doubt the Prime Minister is under tremendous, tremendous pressure from uh, the, the administration in the United States as well. Um, another article we had as well that came out on Wednesday the 27th, Arabs assault a Jewish kids in, north, in the north after asking, are you Jews? Uh, it, it's just, it's constantly. Uh, the idea fires at Syria after an officer is wounded in the Golan. Uh, every border in Israel is in a serious situation. Pray for Israel. One thing let me ask you as well, if you would do, take time to pray that God would send the two witnesses to Israel. I think that it's time. I think it's time that we join with them in asking God to take the step forward in delivering His people from their enemies. If that means bringing the plagues on Rome, the horror of revelation, so be it. It's time. Pray with me that God will deliver Israel and that there will, at that point, will be peace. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun with Israeli News Live. Erev Talk.